how to get rich pets in Adopt Me in 2022. Whether you've been playing Adopt Me for a while, or you're a brand new player to the game, today I'll be providing you some tips on how to go and get good pets inside. Today I've created a brand new account on Roblox to show you that you can easily go and get some good things without spending too long. Teaching everyone that you can go and get some good pets in Adopt Me without begging or scamming. So as you can see, we have started a brand new account and currently only have the starter egg. There are so many pets that you can go and collect in Adopt Me, so what we're gonna classify as a good pet is anything that is ultra rare or legendary, as obviously those are two of the best things that you can go and get in the game. So I'll be showing you tips on how to go and get those. And yes, you will not need to be spending Robux on this video because if you did have Robux, then you could literally just instantly go to the shop Go and buy one of these legendary pets for Robux, so um, we're gonna do it free. So let's start off by going and doing some tasks for my pet, such as going and giving it something to eat. There's always some fun ways you can go and earn a bunch of things in Adopt Me, especially in trading. This is where you're mainly going to go and get your items. I highly recommend going and doing this, as believe it or not, people will go and actually give you something for this. But what you want to do is go and spam the golden apple, just like so, and you will have like an infinite amount of these until it says you can't get any more. Now this is handy because you can actually go and use these for your pet to heal them and it will also go and feed them at the same time. But the reason why I say to go and grab these is actually because you can just go and simply trade for them. So what I'm going to go and do is just go and say that I'm trading some stuff. And when in Adopt Me, honesty is the best policy. Obviously to go and actually get a ultra rare, you will need yourself a trading license to go and get that you have to go and complete a little mini task and that will allow you to go and trade for ultra rares and legendaries. If you don't have this, then there is physically no way to go and get an ultra rare or a legendary in this game. Unless you hatch it, obviously, but we're gonna be trying and doing some trading. The first way I recommend to go and get some good pets is by obviously going and hatching your starter egg. Unfortunately, I believe you can only get a cat or a dog by doing so. By the way, by logging into Adopt Me every single day, you can go and claim yourself some daily rewards, which I highly recommend going and doing, as it will go and reward you with not only bugs, but also some free pets. And at the end of this, you can go and get a golden egg and then a diamond egg, so there is actually the potential of going and getting a bunch of stuff completely for free. And these are guaranteed legendary eggs, so once you get that golden egg, you are literally guaranteed to go and get yourself either a golden unicorn, a golden griffin, or a golden dragon, which is actually pretty exciting as you're guaranteed a pretty decent legendary completely for free. So to get that amount of stars, you do have to log in for a long duration, unfortunately. But as long as you just like click Adopt Me once a day and don't do anything apart from that, then you'll actually eventually just be able to go and get these. Like on my main account, I'm on my second diamond egg, I believe, because I've just logged on that amount of times, meaning I've gone and opened four. So genuinely just log on to Adopt Me every day, claim your daily reward, whether it be bucks, gifts, sometimes random other things, I definitely recommend doing so. And by the time that you have gone and earned it, you would have gone and got a lot of other rewards and you'll also be having your lovely golden egg, which is actually a really cool looking pet. The next tip to go and get good pets is by going and participating in events. If there's any events on, there typically is. At the moment, there is the Christmas event going on, which obviously won't last forever. I highly recommend doing anything that is an event that will go and provide you with a currency that you can go and get special pets from. This will allow you to go and get the upper hand as you can actually trade a lot of the Christmas themed items for some pretty decent things such as ultra rares. A tip to go and get to places quickly is just by pressing teleport to gifts display and this will just directly take you to a place where pretty much everything you need is. We're just about to go and hatch our starter egg and hope that we actually go and get something somewhat decent. I've just gone and met this person saying they'd like to help me. I've been honest, I said I'm trading this dog and I am new. So genuinely by just going and communicating with people inside of Adopt Me, you will actually go and eventually find some kind people, such as this guy who has genuinely just gone and give me a Tasmanian Tiger, which is a rare out of game pet, which to be honest, I'm very surprised he's gone and done so. 
I definitely recommend not scamming and actually being honest, so if you genuinely have just started Adopt Me, I guess you could tell people as long as you don't go and do the classic thing where everyone goes and press sit on the floor and like, bro, I'm so poor, I just started, that's what everyone does. And it's annoying, so if you see someone who doesn't do that, then I guess it's kind of useful. Bro, there is no way they are accepting this. We're about to go and get a fly ride legendary for the Tasmanian Tiger. There is no way. This person is um clearly having us on. This is definitely a joke. If they accept this, I will scream. I yeah, half the time you will bar you'll like come across tons of people who are like gonna scam you or like try and do like an unfair trade. Is this person gonna even say anything? Um, probably not. They're probably just gonna keep me waiting here for like 10 years. This person, they even have like a sad face on right now. They have a sad face. What is going on? Why, why are they actually offering me this? And why did we get to the second stage? Maybe they just like to uh, pretend they're gonna give someone a pet. Um, we'll just say OMG. I... I mean, of course that player declined me, that that it was genuinely like an insane deal. No one would ever go and do that. Unfortunately, it's not as quick as you'd love for it to be to go and get good pets. You do have to put in the time and effort of going and playing a video game. That is how any video game works. The more time you go and spend playing the game, the better rewards you go and get. Hence why me going and playing every single day for the last two years on my main account has given me a bunch of all of the pets, which is why I have one of every single pet inside of the game. But for all of the people wondering how do you go and get good pets, it's mainly by just going and playing the game daily. That might not be what you want to hear, but yes, you can either go and spend a bunch of Robux and go and get pets that way, or you can just go and play the game daily. I go and do both. I spend Robux. Um, I have probably spent over 100,000 Robux to play Adopt Me, which you might think is insane, but it's because I make YouTube videos on it on this YouTube channel. And obviously, I go and give away so much. I give away ride potions, fly potions. I've even gone and given away multiple frost dragons, which cost over a thousand Robux. Which is why I have spent so much to go and get where I am. But yes, you can go and get here and get some really good pets without actually having spent any money on the game whatsoever, which is why Adopt Me is good. Okay, so I went and found someone and they have just gone and told me, uh, give me the pets and I'll duplicate it. That is the biggest scam of my life. Do not ever do this. This person is relying on the fact that I've just admitted that I am new and I'm trying to trade these pets. I just said I work for Adopt Me just to scare the guy away and he obviously quit the game instantly. Never fall for someone who says they can duplicate pets. They clearly rely on people who are new to the game, so definitely watch out for scams. I'm not sure if this player will actually go and accept this, but if they actually do, then that is a very good deal for me. Mainly because these are a Halloween cat box, where I could either trade this for either pretty much an ultra rare, or I could open this up and hope that I get a legendary from it. And they actually successfully accepted this trade, meaning I have gone from zero to multiple things within 20 minutes, which is actually pretty awesome. So because this is unopened and the Halloween event was a while ago, I could now go and trade this for pretty much an ultra rare. But for your entertainment, I shall open this up and hope that we go and get the legendary version of the mummy cat, which is very unlikely, but I really hope so. Okay, we got an ultra rare. That is actually a really good win. Oh, it's it's a rare. It's not even ultra rare. I, what? At least it's, is, is that the common one? I don't even know what's common. I'm I'm so I'm so silly. Okay, we're gonna open up the other one. Is white common and then black's uncommon? Bro, I'm so confused. Uncommon and rare. Okay, so the white one is okay. And then the other one is either ultra rare or legendary, I think. I think there was three or four, but hey, at least we've gone from zero to owning a rare and an uncommon and a common. So we're slowly getting a nice little collection and we haven't been playing long. 
One thing that you might notice is that once you've gone and done a bunch of trades in a server, you may have met all of the players. So what you then want to go and do is actually change to a different server. To change to a different server, simply close down your Roblox application and then just press play adopt me again and teleport back to the location you were by just teleporting to the gifts display. Now you will be with a bunch of different players which have never met you before and you can go and find some different trades and have a chat too. By going and switching servers regularly, it does provide you with a better chance of going and finding the trade you're after, as in one server, they might have a really good offer compared to someone in the other. I have a feeling that this person is flexing on me right now, which is a very common thing. And they pressed accept, this is clearly a prank, I mean, imagine if someone actually accepts this, of course. I, I It's actually annoying at this point where they accept it, like, why? My goal of today's video was to go and get myself an ultra rare. Will we actually manage to successfully trade this for an ultra rare pet? I really hope so. Okay, we might just be about to go and get the ultra rare that I have been after. We successfully did it. I have managed to trade myself from zero to an ultra rare within 20 minutes of going and playing the game. So a big shout out to this person who was kind enough to go and do so. We're just actually going to go and give them the ultra rare that I've just received completely for free back to them. As obviously that was a pretty bad trade for me to go and give to them. So I hope that they go and enjoy. So now they have that back and they can look after it because realistically I don't need the pet. So how you really go and get pets is simply by going and playing the game as much as possible. So the moral of the story is, the more you spend going and playing this game, the more time that you have gone and done playing these events, checking out the mini games and stuff, the better things you will go and receive. So I highly recommend simply just going and playing the game, checking back on my YouTube channel every day I post a video at 1pm UK time, where I will inform you of any events, any updates or any news that you need to know about the game on, then it will go and tell you basically how you can go and get things. I make tutorials on how you can go and get the new pets so anything that comes out into the game I'll be sure to go and let you know so make sure you've got notifications on and check out my youtube channel every single day at 1 p.m uk time I hope this video has been useful for those who are new to the game and wanted to know how this game really works and to those who have always been wondering how do I go and get many things such as mega neon pets neon frost dragons mega pets the main way I get them is by trading and buying them basically, like the Frost Dragon I bought them when they released, the Frost Fury I also went and bought them um, using my Robux. <laughs> so to get some things, yes it does cost Robux and if you are buying Robux be sure to go and use my star code CANDY and it helps to support me so be sure to go and do that. Thank you for watching, leave this video a thumbs up and I'll be going and giving away some ride potions to go and help you guys begin your Adult Me journey. Thanks for watching, bye.